happy Saturday. I am currently on my walk. Very, 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 very late to start to my day. It is currently six o'clock. Um, and I've had a weird mental health morning. I don't know why. I'm currently gonna talk to you this way just because there's a lot of people around and a lot of people driving by, so bear with me. But I've been feeling a little down this morning. We had a very, very, very slow start to our day. I'm talking like hardly even got out of bed until after 11 a.m. Although obviously I did get up a few times to take care of the animals and do some laundry, but like didn't actually get my real day started until well after that and didn't even put my watch on for my steps. So I was like a little anxious that I had already like missed half of the day that, you know, normally I'm already close to, if not over 3000 steps by 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock at the latest. And I had only had like 29 steps total <laughs> that whole morning. And so that kind of made me nervous. Um, but that made me nervous, but I almost felt like paralyzed because I knew I had to get outside and walk because there was no way I could get 10,000 steps done just like looping my house. Um, but my husband needed to work on my car. It's a gorgeous day out, but it's hot out today. I'm sure you guys can see me literally dripping sweat. Um, and just overwhelmed because I'm still having issues with my car that we just cannot freaking figure out. And I'm just, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it, I'm over it. Um, and so I was just kind of feeling like my house is a mess. I have so much laundry to do. My car is still being weird despite everything that we're doing. And I still have all of these steps I need to get in. But I finally decided to stop being a baby and just get myself up. I think by the time I hit the pavement, I was at like 2,000 steps or so. I already made my grocery list for today. So like I really, I'm really not doing as bad as I'm giving myself, you know, slack for, I guess. Um, but as I started walking, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go as far as I possibly can go and see how far I can get. And I'm currently walking. You see how sweaty I am? I'm currently walking a path in my neighborhood that I have never walked before. And I've been walking for 40 minutes. I'm almost at 2000 miles. I'm over 7,000 steps and I just feel incredible. This is the path that I normally walk with my dog or one of the paths I normally walk with my dog. We come down to the poop station and then go all the way back up. Um, but this time I went all the way around um out of my neighborhood onto the main street and all the way around and that feels absolutely incredible because hold on there's a truck coming fire truck that came um but it feels incredible because other than me sweating like a pig i feel totally fine but something did happen on my walk that i wanted to ask you guys about um what do you guys carry? Sorry, if you see my hairy armpits, I need to wax. What do you guys carry for protection on your walks? Um, Cause I had a little bit of a weird encounter with a gentleman um, and it made me feel a little uneasy. Um, usually I have my dog with me when I'm walking so I don't feel vulnerable. Um, I also am a pretty tough lady, so I know I can hold my own. Um, but I'm also aware that there are sick individuals in this world. Um, and I'm always aware of my surroundings. Normally, I don't wear both headphones in when I'm walking by myself. Um, 
I usually only wear one so that I have, you know, one whole side of me that is aware of everything. Um, but I absolutely did not think that I'd be going on an almost hour long walk. And so I was like, you know what? Oh, there's another car, hold on. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm only gonna go around my neighborhood. I'm gonna listen to a podcast and I'm gonna wear both of them. Well, <laughs> when I decided to go outside of my normal route, I was already too invested in a podcast um, to think about taking out one of my headphones. And I could still hear everything around me. Could still hear all the cars. Could still hear the sirens. But I did not hear a gentleman come up on his scooter, like an electric scooter, on the sidewalk right next to me. I am home now. <laughs> I'm dripping sweat, but I hit two miles. That's crazy. But my whole reasoning for making this video was because of asking what you guys use for protection on your walk. So I think I left off saying that I um, had my AirPods in, which I don't normally do. I was going down this path. By the time I realized, hey, I'm going to go way farther than I thought I was going to, I was deep into a podcast and I didn't think about removing my earphones and I could hear things around me, but I did not hear this gentleman, older man, come up alongside me on a ride on scooter on the walking path, which is strange within itself. Um, and by the time I realized that he was like there, I could kind of see him like, you know, behind me. Um, and he just stopped kind of, um, got really close to me. Cause again, we're on a sidewalk. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And he just stopped and like looked me up and down um, and was like, oh no, don't worry. And then I kind of like stopped and stepped to the side to like let him go. And he just kept driving really slow down the path, but kept kind of like looking back every once in a while. So I immediately called my husband. Um, driving wise, I was, we were not, I was not that far from my house. My husband could have gotten to me in like minutes. Um, but like, it just got me thinking, like, if I don't have my dog with me for protection and I'm not saying my dog would ever like attack anybody. Um, but you know, he's a bigger dog. Hunter. Hey, he's a bigger dog. So like that might help deter people. Um, it's sad that I even have to think this way, but I, and I don't want this to turn into a debate. Um, I am totally okay with you guys being one way or another or what your beliefs in are, it are as far as um, protection and things like that go. But I am a concealed carry holder back in my hometown. And in the state that I live in now, you don't need a license to carry. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but for me personally, I don't like to open carry um, because I feel like it defeats the purpose. Um, but in instances like this, uh, I feel like I'm going to start when I'm by myself and I'm out of my neighborhood um, just because people are insane. Um, I have a belly band that goes around, which is my... Technically, it's for concealed carry, but as long as you wear it on the outside of your clothing and it is obviously visible, then you can use it as um, open carry. Um, because to my knowledge, they don't make holsters that go on like leggings and things like that um, for open carry that would not pull your pants down. And I don't wear anything with a belt that I'd be able to like strap it on. So that's why when I was back home where I have my concealed carry license, um, I would wear my belly band because then it could go under my clothes and that type of stuff. Um, my husband open carries um, when we go certain places, but obviously he was not with me and I just didn't think about it. So like, I know a lot of people will carry pepper spray or some sort of like alarm, um, but I'm just curious, what do you guys carry to protect yourself? Especially if you're walking early in the morning 
or late at night. Um, I feel very safe in my neighborhood. But like I said, this is the first time I've ever had an experience like that where it made me go, mm, maybe I should at least have something. Um, and I, sorry, Hunter is hungry. I have to get off and feed him soon. But, um, you know, that would be my choice of protection just because I am trained in it. Like I said, I have my license for back home um, and I'm definitely going to be looking into getting my concealed one here. I've lived here for four years. I've just never really felt a need for it. Um, but now since I'm out more and all of those things, I will absolutely be looking into that. So yeah, definitely weird because I feel like, again, that's never happened to me before. I've never felt like unsafe. Um, but he did like loop back around and like circle back around and kind of come my way. But at that point I made it very clear that I was on the phone, like with my husband and he just kept going. Um, sorry, I'm getting my dog his food. But yeah, I just curious, sorry. What do you guys use, um, you know, for protection? Because again, unfortunately it sucks that we live in this day and age, um, but we do. So I am very proud of myself. I walked two miles, which is just wild to me. And I feel like I could keep going. Like. I feel very good. I'm happy that I did it. I was having a kind of rough mental day, uh, morning, not even a bad day, you know, like I said before, but I feel much better now. And my husband's, we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna cook some steak on the grill tonight on our Blackstone and have a good rest of my evening. I am at, 8,233 steps. So I don't have that much farther to go until I hit my 10,000 for the day. But yeah, I'm very proud of myself. I feel good. As Katie says in her channel, which again, I will link her down below because I owe her everything for starting this walking challenge. Um, we're halfway there already, which is crazy. So I hope everybody's having a great Saturday and I will see you guys tomorrow if I go on another two mile walk.